All right? When you're ready? Okay, thanks for coming along. Um, last night, at about 10 to midnight, um, there were three armed defenders that went into the Lucky Star Tavern on Hellwell Road at Sunnybank Hills. Um, at the time of entering the hotel, there were two employees and two members of the public inside the hotel. Now, these three offenders were armed with firearms at the time and they threatened staff. One of the um, members of the public was in the process of attempting to leave and was actually apprehended by one of the uh, offenders. He was pushed to the ground where he actually received some blows to the head. And as a result of that, um, he received some minor injuries. Now, these offenders uh, escaped with a sum of money, mostly from the poker machines and also from a safe, and left in what we believe to be a, uh, a vehicle that was outside. Um, now, this robbery, we believe, is linked to another robbery which occurred just after midnight on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. Now that robbery occurred at the Sunnybank Hotel, which is on McCulloch Street at, uh, at Sunnybank. Once again, there were three armed defenders, fully um, disguised, who entered and threatened patrons and staff at that location as well. Now at that time, there were a number of staff and probably about 12 or so patrons. A number of the patrons did flee the scene and uh, were lucky to have escaped any injuries. However, the uh, cashier was assaulted by one of the armed offenders and once again a, uh, a quantity of money was stolen during the course of that robbery. So the police service obviously is extremely concerned that we actually have some active offenders who are armed with firearms. Um, and at this stage the exact description of the firearms um, has a, a multitude of descriptions but predominantly they're long arm weapons, be they shotguns or um, sawn off long arm firearms. So we're very concerned in relation to the safety of the public in relation to these events. Um, we doubt very much that this is going to be the last offence that these people commit before we actually get hold of them. And we're very concerned that uh, should a member of the public be present at the hotel when another offence occurs, um, we actually would be advising that people not try to be heroes. Um, simply do what you're asked and if you're asked to get on the ground, get on the ground and you should be able to uh, escape the incident without injury. Um, at this stage of the game, we're conducting inquiries in relation to this matter in conjunction with the South Brisbane District CIB, the Oxley District CIB and also uh, Major Crime of State Crime Operations Command. What are they wearing when they come into the park? Uh, they're fully disguised in either um, hooded jackets that they pull over their heads, uh, shirts across their faces and their arms and legs um, have been covered as well with tracksuit pants and that sort of thing. Uh, not that long at all, probably about five minutes at the at probably the most. Uh, they're able to get in there, make their demands, get what they needed, and get out fairly quickly. And last night there were two patrons there from the dark night before and about 12 patrons. How did you describe them? The patrons or the, no, the no, offenders? The uh, brazen, very brazen. I mean, they're taking a great risk um, that if a member of the public does decide to try and intervene, which we're urging that they don't do, um, we're more concerned that if they do try to intervene that it might push these offenders beyond what their initial intent were but, and we don't want to see that actually occur. Have you put hotels in the area on the way? Yeah, the hotels in the area have been advised uh, to increase their security in the general area. Um, we're not able to say exactly where and when a second or third offence may occur and we're also conducting inquiries to see if these offences are linked to other offences um, that have occurred in the past few months. Yeah, the Runcorn Tavern is one that we're looking at to see if it's linked as well as the Centenary Tavern. Uh, there was also a robbery at a place called Go Gecko, which was a, uh, a real estate um, firm. So there's a number of offences which we're looking at to see whether they are or are not linked. Um, at this stage, we're not ruling any of those in or out as being possibly linked to these offenders. How far back do they go? The of those potential ones, like the oldest, like the oldest ones? Of, of those, probably about two months. Yes, the ones that we're looking at are in the Oxley District area as well as in South Brisbane's area. But we're not ruling out the fact that they could also be linked to ones that may have occurred down at Logan, etc. Because, like I said, until we actually can find some good strong evidence um, at this stage, it's uh, an assumption that we'll draw to say they might be linked, but we can't say conclusively. Is there any description of the getaway car? 
Uh, at this stage, all we know it's the white vehicle at this point in time. Uh, the full description um, hasn't yet been confirmed. Oh, no. Uh, he was fairly shaken up. Um, he was only a, a, a young fellow, and uh, obviously it's the, wasn't expecting it. Um, but he did receive minor injuries, and fortunately he didn't put up a struggle once um, once he was confronted by these fellows. Were these robbers that may have a large sum of money? Were they ever reward? Uh, we'll never divulge the amounts of money that are stolen from any any robbery, for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, they didn't do too badly. Um, obviously you're concerned that potentially in one of these next ones somebody might not get off as lucky as this young bloke who got shot in the premises some nine years ago. Yeah, that's right. Um, in the robbery that occurred at the uh, Sunnybank Hotel on, on the early hours of Saturday morning, the cashier w actually didn't do anything um, to resist the offenders. Um, he was assaulted, which was more like a warning to not resist. And uh, certainly the one that happened last night, the fellow was leaving the premises and that didn't fit their plans, so he was assaulted. So, yes, I'm very, very concerned that um, anybody who decides to attempt to stand up to these fellows um, could end up a lot more seriously injured than what the last two have. Did the offenders say anything during the robbery? They did, obviously. Um, the exact words are not going to be released at this particular point in time. For obvious reasons, we're looking at the similarities, so we don't want to let that information out just yet. Did they threaten to arm with three eight-inch guns? I think the fact that they were with three firearms pretty much gave that away. Did they even say it? Like I said, I won't comment on what they actually said. Okay. All right. Um, if any member of the public does have knowledge about these three offenders and wants to give the information even if it's anonymous um, they can call crime stoppers on 1-800-333-000 that's 1-800-333-000 um, we obviously are very concerned that there are weapons involved here at this stage of the game it hasn't gone to serious injuries but certainly if you know these people or even if you think you know these people that information would be vital and it could help this from escalating to a much more serious situation um, well, obviously, if they're in Crime Stoppers, there's a standard Crime Stoppers rewards for information. But at this stage, a police reward hasn't been set, no. Okay. Could you please just um, spell your name and rank for me again? Yeah, it's Detective Inspector, and it's Jeff with a G, G O F F, Ackerman, A C R E M A N. Thank you.